my name is Emily. I'm in the Tuesday 9.30 a.m. lab. My lattes are Michael and my theory. And I'm going to show you today how to uh, use vacuum, vacuum fil filtration to filter and precipitate from the solution. So right here, I have a homogeneous solution of activated carbon and DI water. And I'm going to grab my filtration flask. And I, first, I'm going to um, fasten it to the ring stand. So I'm going to first loosen this to the, um, I'm going to adjust it to the desired length or height of the flask. And then I'm going to tighten it accordingly. And then I'm also going to fasten this part of the ring stand, the arm, and then and then I'm going to use the hose to con connect one end of it to the vacuum valve. And then I'm going to connect the other end to the arm of the filtration flask. And then I'm going to grab the adapter and put it on top of the uh, filtration flask. And then I'm going to place two pieces of filter paper inside the Buchner funnel and then put um, the apparatus on top of the adapter and then next I'm going to put a few drops of uh, distilled water around the sides of the filter paper so that it adheres to the Buchner funnel and that um, the solution does not um, go around the sides of the funnel and next I'm going to turn the valve on and a good way to test if it's working, if the vacuum valve is working, is if you try to lift this funnel up, this beaconer funnel up, and it does not budge. And so now we're going to start filtering the, um, the solution. So I'm just going to slowly pour this through the funnel. And to ensure that all the precipitate from the uh, the fl the graduated cylinder is um, washed into this, is that you use some of the solvent that you're that's from your solution to wash the precipitate from the cylinder and into the funnel. And then, once I've filtered my precipitate, I'm going to just disassemble the, um, the apparatus by turning off the vacuum. And then I'm going to break the, break the filter by um, loosening the loosening the ring stand so that my filtration flask comes free and I'm also going to break this and then um, to determine whether you need to filter it again um, you place a white paper towel underneath your filtrate and then um, my filtrate is completely clear right now there's no precipitate that's in the filtrate so I'm not going to filter it again but if there were to be um, a slight discoloration in the filtrate um, and or if you saw any like little solids 
um, a precipitate in the filtrate, you would have to filter it again. But since there's none, we are good to go. This is the precipitate. And yeah, that's how you filter a solution using vacuum filtration. Oh right my on. God. <laughs>